Baby, can't you see I'm calling A guy like you Should wear on one end It's dangerous I'm falling There's no escape I can't wait I need a hit Baby, give me it You're dangerous I'm loving it Too high and come down Losing my head Spinning round and round Do you feel me now? The taste of your lips I'm on a ride You're toxic I'm slipping under With the taste of a poison paradise I'm a debtor to you Don't you know that you're toxic? It's getting late To give you up I took a sip From my devil's cup Slowly It's taken over me To I can come now It's in the air and it's on around Can you feel me now the taste of your lips I'm on a ride You're toxic I'm slipping under With the taste of a poison paradise I'm addicted to you Don't you know that you're toxic And I love what you do Don't you know that you're toxic Your lips up on a ride You're toxic I'm slipping under the taste Of a poison paradise I'm addicted to you Don't you know that you're toxic Intoxicate me now With the old loving now, I think I'm already now. I think I'm already now. It's time to take me here. With the old loving, I'm addicted to you. Don't you know that you're toxic? Go, 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 go
Hello, darlings. Welcome to the party. Today we're going to be playing Todd's latest lie, Star Wars. Uh, not much of an intro. Let's just jump right into it. All right. So I've got woo, game already preloaded. Uh, for those of you who are keeping track of the lore, I already went ahead and made my character, who suspiciously looks a lot like Mike Stablaza. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. Why don't we? I've got to do a lot I was about to ask you guys how the volume is, but I think that just answered that. <laughs> Alright, how's the audio now in comparison to my voice? How about now? I've maxed out my volume and decreased the, the game a little, a little bit. Better? Okay, good. A little loud on my end. Let me turn down my audio controller. Peek your mic for a sec. Shout into it. Ah! 
Perfect. <laughs> All right. So I went ahead and made my character first. I, uh, like I said, suspiciously looks a lot like Mike's Plaza for just no apparent reason. And I've already had my first little battle encounter with the pirates, and now I've uh, obtained the ship. That's all part of a little introduction. Uh, I went ahead and sat my character on the toilet and just saved the game because I couldn't find the bed. And there we go, Mike Starlasa. The sec the second I can do it, I'm gonna change his name to Mike Star Cluster because it's it dawned on me after I named. toilet booth. I didn't actually look around the uh, ship yet, so... You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery-class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. All right. So like I said, I just boarded the ship and went straight to the bathroom. That's all I did. I haven't actually made progress in the story just yet, so let's take a look around. Oh, there's a sandwich. A did you pick? I don't know what that is. Chunks apple. Let me take that. Container of cereal, I'll take that. Cool. Meal pack, ramen, I'll take that. Grinder, hey! I still got it back in the future. He's gonna hook up somehow. I can take med pack, I'll take that. Broken Constellation Space Helmet, I'll take that. <laughs> Old Earth Baseball. The previous commander of this ship was a black guy, so I'm guessing that's a Commander Cisco reference. Research station. Oh, okay, cool. Research. Did you pick for a Digifro? Sounds about right. Star Cluster. Every time I kill an alien, I'm Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Oop. Okay, so A does not, uh, E does not rotate the ship, so okay. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. A ship 
ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Loose can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Left shift to boost, okay. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. No, I'm not. That's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. We will need to disable their shields. Laser based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can log in to fire a homing missile. Outsmarted you! Finally, <laughs> finally outsmarted you. You can't, you can't get me with the chicken dance anymore. <laughs> All I get is a little notification sound from the from the corner window, and that's it. That's it. That is it. You are done, son. No more chicken dance shop. None. I win. <laughs> okay, what was I doing?
assaults from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. Why would I want to play Danger Zone? That's overplayed. data menu from there you can open the star map. Alright. Star map. still quiet. I'm still quiet compared to the game. Alright, hold on. Maybe this will help. Okay, I'm lowering the game even more. I'm just worried you guys are going to get to the point where you just can't even hear the game anymore. Much better. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Not exactly a copy of Elite Dangerous. I got more uh, hands on with Elite Dangerous. If there's like more uh, like subtitles, I guess. Those are all the subtitles I get. By the way, they lied. That's a ladder right there, and I didn't climb it. I guess they gave up on that. Captain Mike, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. 
The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually <laughs> after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. He insulted him by continuing to live. Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos, so technically you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer more like is the cosmos. that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. The Milky Gay. <laughs> Commencing item exchange protocols. What do we got? Ooh, gimme. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. <laughs> Definitely not mud crabs. Let's see, do I have a... Uh... I don't know what that is, but I'll put it on. creatures are often unpredictable. I can scan things. Pretty 
Street Stalker. It's seriously just <laughs> a combination of uh, Fallout and, and uh, Elder Scrolls. Because we've seen mud crabs and we've seen rad scorpions so far. like 70 FOV, it's atrocious. Hold on. Let me see if I can fuck with the FOV. Uh, I don't see the FOV. Oh, hold on, I didn't know I had this enabled. Let me turn off motion blur. Film grain, turn off depth of field. There we go. Scan some more bullshit before I go do the story. Well, to be fair, Manhunt was like 2005, so... There's an unknown thing in the distance. I'm kind of curious what it is. Elite citizen. Let me scan everything around here before I do this. Do everything.
there's any goodies out here before I go inside. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Look at that ass! to do that. Just wanted to see what it did. Oops. I'm making a mess. Seriously, what if I need something? I can't I can't ignore things. If there's stuff lying around, there should be a reason to pick it up. Oh, see, there's a book. <laughs> That's me. I'm a fridge bottom. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Do we not like the UC, I guess? that robot, you know, binary? Probably. My life chunk by chunk. I'm gonna eat the I'm gonna read these later. I'm gonna eat these later. <laughs> eat any good books lately, Mr. Warp? Genetic sample bottle. Credit stick. Oh, the music's getting spooky. Where is everybody?
I really hope there's no magical space bullshit because I, I'd be very upset. I don't need any uh, ripoff of the force in this game. If there is, don't tell me. Don't tell me if there is, because I've looked up nothing about this game. So they're on alert. Just picking up those audio cues. Yeah, I'm not sure, but the robot doesn't really lend for uh, stealth infiltrations, I'll say, I have to say that. Gotta be nice things in here to take. Check the potty. Milk. The Pickwick papers. Toilet milk is always the best, as we all know. Okay, so the robot doesn't let you exactly have do a stealth infiltration, so I just might as well not bother trying to do stealth at the moment.
Eggmund desk assistant. <laughs> that thing looks weird. United Colonies Unit Warfare Division is now official. I can't even imagine the amount of red tape they had to cut through at Mass, but it's long overdue. I get to be a part of it from the ground up. My official title will be Associate Xenobiology Technician, and I ship out in two days. Amanda is upset, but I assured her I'll have plenty of leave, and we'll be back in New Atlantis at all times. I'm still not sure where I'm going. Definitely somewhere in United Colony space. Guess I'll find out when I get there. We got our first extraterrestrial Canada today. What appears to be an alien life form of liquid. Lukaugi Lukaugi Venusta Lukaugi Venusta Essentially a giant spider Michelson in full protective gear Attempted to attach the neural control unit Our security detail is now trying to remove him From the cocoon And we had no choice but to put down the creature A minor setback None of us expected Success on the first try I heard Dr. Paulson tell the others that the detachment of United Colonies Marines is scheduled to deliver another creature next Thursday. I'm not sure how they managed it, but the UC Marines actually managed to bring us an Ashta. It's not that the Ashta is a terrifying beast, just a natural predator. Those are both exceptional, wonderful qualities and essential to the work that you're doing here. It's that the Ashta is native to the planet Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Aquila, home to Aquila City, capital of the Free Star Collective. Leave it to the group of ground pounders to grab a candidate right from the enemy's backyard. Though it does beg the question, have Free Star Collective scientists managed to weaponize their greatest natural predator? If so, our timetable just got accelerated. Any fears that our Free Star Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Ashida have been completely dispelled. After the Michelson debacle, we determined the NCI should only be attached under full sedation, so that wasn't an issue. The problem started immediately afterward. The Ashta provided proved incredibly resistant to synchronization and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 47%. Dr. Chin's arm was nearly ripped off five minutes into the first trial. In short, the Ashta simply can't be controlled, if not by us, then certainly not by the Free Star Collective. Dr. Paulson has been in touch with Colonel Katsarov. Looks like the Marines will have another species collected and dropped off by this time next week. Another creature, another failure. No fault of the UC ground pounders. We wanted a predator and they delivered. These things were so alien, Paulson had a difficult time deciding on a designation. Opted for Reptans Veni Veninum. Shame we couldn't properly sink the SCI. Those NCI, those things would have been spectacular, especially the poison. <coughs> Marines dropped off another few specimens this morning totally unscheduled. Best way to describe them? They're arthropods, the alien equivalent of Pomerus gamerus, basically giant space lobsters. Ha ha! Very promising giant space lobsters. I'm not entirely sure where the UC grunts found these particular test subjects, some godforsaken backwater rock, I imagine. After the third or fourth unsuccessful trial, I stopped asking. None of those earlier species would have been controlled with any reliability. As noted in... Wait, are these... Are those Meyer Lurks? Are they just Meyer Lurks? These are reskinned Meyer Lurks, aren't they? Oh my god. We're moving. Packing up shop and transitioning the entire organization. It's happened so fast. My head is spinning. The work on our arthropods has been so successful. We're actually relocating to their home world. We have an unlimited supply of creatures for the Zine Warfare Division. Uh, I'll give my... Blah, 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 blah. Want to get out of my way there, Vasco? Star locked board game. <laughs> Spinal health will become 
compromised by carrying so many items. You're right, Vasco. drop the cheapest items that aren't useful. Actually, let me eat some of this food and drink some of this water. Drop the dumbbells, they're not actually worth anything. <laughs> the robot's just jealous of my gains, of my potential gains, that is. Bensel. slots in every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key. Fill in the gap. Each key can only be used once. Oh, that's what digipicks are. It's good to pick up the digi picks. They're not just for your digi pro. Health is still low. Hold on, let me eat more food. I can't get over that fucking square apple, dude.
I do not understand your attachment to all these objects. <laughs> It's a, it's a human failing, dude. You'll never understand. You're just a robot. stuff while I am programmed for combat it is not my primary function may I take some things yes please Grendel is uh, really uh, Hold on. modified Grendel. Yes, please use that. Chunks cake. I love the perfectly square food. I love it. I seriously do. All the perfectly square food stuffs. Yes, more of that. Eradicate them. Take care of them. I'm busy. I gotta find more goodies. I detect no suspicious activity in the area. Back to Space Loop. Stop all the downloading! Project Pet Shop. My staff and I just arrived this morning, and I'm not surprised to find the facility completely operational. As usual, the United Colony spares no expense. It's all very exciting. Inspirational, really, knowing you all have full support of decision-making. I have to admit, I was surprised to learn the lab is a closely guarded secret located in free Star Collector space, no less. But we go where the work takes us. Xeno warfare is the evolution of armed ground conflict. We know it, and the Free Star Collective surely knows it as well. Forget what the calendar says. This is 1942 all over again. We may as well be the Manhattan Project, bring some 
create the game changer before the other side. My the alien that kills people? Alright. The arthropods are in word incredible, calm, easy to work with. They allow themselves to be fit with MPIs without much trouble. Do, 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 do. The most promising is how they're already integrated. Okay. After months of testing the extraterrestrial species, it reported blah, 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 everything we hope for and more. I've designated these beasts obedience, obedientis pests. And we'll just call them stalkers. Oh, there's one in front of the building. The Red Devil's progress with the Stalkers have been nothing less than amazing. Now I see why they're so highly regarded in UC military circles. None of the rah-rah bullshit you see with other regular grunts. These are focused professionals. Okay. You get the general general feel there. What is that? Can't scan them. Stop all the downloading! Alright, no more goodies to take, I know. Well, this is where it broke out. Second floor. Oh, I forgot to do the thing where I say the line every time I uh, kill somebody. Okay, hey, hold on. Let me, uh, I'll remember to do that next time, I promise. Aluminum, fiber, analgesic, antimicrobial, sealant. Wire spool. Here. Oh, 
there's another door right there. Haha. -ha. Spoiler alert, I'm getting through. That's right, Jay. That's right, Jay. I was rudely interrupted. Huh. That was interesting. That was certainly an idle animation. Stuff the bodies in my backpack. <laughs> you know, I would if they'd let me. I'd just be sitting there like, you know, there's a reason they let me do this. They probably have a use for the bodies. You probably get some sort of resource from dead bodies in this game. any goodies in here. Oh, spoke too soon. full speed with your pack that full. That's alright, I'll just give them all to you. You're gonna be my item mule for this game. I can already tell you that. Oh, I've already been there. An animate carbon rod? Where? Where? Oh, 
Panther's computer. There we go. Let's go, buddy. You mind moving out the way there? Downloading. We're at war. By establishing the colony of Vesta, the Free Star Collective have forced the UC's hand. The unmitigated Gaul. Blah, blah, blah. Our diplomats try to resolve this peacefully. Council of Governors won't listen. Yeah. No devil of stark casualties. Vesta defenders were taken by complete surprise. Great day for the Red Devils, great day for the United Colonies, great day for Xeno Warfare. Note, no, it's not lost on me that this classified facility is actually located within Free Star Collective space. So goes the great game. Finally time, after a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the Stalkers have proven to be exactly the weapon we had hoped for. So it's time to expand our operations. MAST has finally approved the next stage of the facility operations. Project Pet Shop Phase 2 will commence. We've officially stopped work on the Stalkers. There are enough creatures in the field to serve the Red Devils who haven't been here to train in over a year. If they need more, we can easily gather some for the planet to fit them with NCIs. But from this point on, our focus is Phase 2. Throughout the settled systems, from civilized world to backwater bush towns, pilots have had to deal with the nuisance commonly known as heat leeches. I had my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the newest Lamp spaceport. My transport was delayed when the deck crew removed a few of these filthy little things from the aft thrusters. They're attracted to heat, feed off of it through some endothermic process, so thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. They can take a furl afterburner boast with no ill effects, no ill effects on the heat leases, that is. A ship with an infestation can generally expect a 3-5% to 5 drop in thruster efficiency. Blah, 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 blah. Perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning to completely and instantly disable a ship, or even better, somehow reverse the process so that they transfer their own heat into a ship someday. Today I fear we lack the means to do either. Okay. Anything else? Did I miss anything? Nope. I don't know about Xbox, but I'm playing it right now on Steam. Okay. Time for second floor shenanigans.
for people. I gotta remember to grab all those digi picks on my way out. Experience the Crimson Fleet have something of a history. They always assume he is a treasure hunter in possession of valuable objects. They are wrong. Usually, I will accept any and all items. Oh shit, I don't want to take, I want to give. I think I wanna wanna use this now. Space mining elevator. Yes, thank you. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Woo! That's right, Jay. Somewhere. 
Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle, a fully grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of ast astrogeologists made first contact nearly a hundred years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's currently no record of how it got there, so it was sheer cosmic chance that the astrogeologists found it. Or rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to categorize it. Ocasio Machina. Ocasio Machina. Roughly killing machine. The UC Marines tasked with taking down... Chose a simpler name, Terror Morph. I read the official record once of an eight-person eight squad. Only two of the grunts survived. One of those lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno Warfare. There we go. Today we fit the Terror Morph with the NCI. If our experience when the grunts first dropped off the creatures, any indication... <coughs> Our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We better make it count. Okay, where is the other data pad? Well, I guess there isn't one. Let's just move on with the story here. Another voice thing on her desk. Wave that you. All right, back to business. Another voice thing on her desk by the computer. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Good eye. The terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. All right. Good eye. Good eye, dude. I completely missed it. Stick around. You're useful. Todd, you said I could climb ladders. You lied again.
see if that gun was any better. Berserker or Grendel? Shut up, robot! The only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. You're not talking us out of this score. Trailing that old constellation ship for nothing? Get out of here. See. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again, you're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Let's check out more googies. Dude, that's your ass. I'm gonna do a fucking Vanguard playthrough. Love me some high risk, high reward. like cap at the glory hole yeah you know when you're talking about high risk high reward when it comes to cap the glory hole there, there really isn't any risk because if it's a lady he doesn't care but if it's a dude he doesn't care either because you see a lot of people don't know this but the thing about cab cab is gay
do 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 any more goodies this nothing no treasure everything to do with baron turns into a mess don't come back I'm letting you go. I'll I see you again. Shot you. You're dead. Oh, I can fast travel to the ship from here, but I don't want to do that. I want to look at more things. Jumping off from here kill me? Let's find out. Doesn't look like it. Let's find some more cool shit to look at. What are you doing, bro? Now look what you did. You're making me kill the fauna. I just wanted to scan them. Look what you made me do, Vasco. Look what you made me do. Need a, a watch for call it. We need to reach the Alpha Centauri's. I will happily need a cutter, just one. Maybe I can't actually harvest that. All right.
Water. That reminds me of a joke. What do you get when you cross an owl with a bungee cord? My ass. <laughs> no, actually, the joke is, uh, what's Bruce Lee's favorite uh, beverage? Water! <laughs> Space Minecraft looking great, yeah. <gasps> the sun is setting. Now there are defined paths. I must be close to something cool. Something happening over there? And land on Gas Giant's terrible games. You're out of 10. I am still just in awe of that guy's thread. Oh, there's a Terror Morph. Music got crazy. Did it see me? It saw me.
Holy shit, that hurt. I'm killing a high-level enemy that's stuck on the terrain. This is definitely a Bethesda game. scan it before I kill it. Oh, I can't scan it once it's uh, in kill mode? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I leveled up three levels. here the whole time, huh? Thanks for the assist there, buddy. Industrial workbench allows you to create basic manufacturing components, which you can use for building structures. Okay, cool. So essentially something I shouldn't be able to do just yet. Cool. Expert? Oh, I can't. I'm not an expert yet. I get the feeling I just wandered into a high level area that I wasn't really supposed to survive. Thank you, Bethesda, though, for those terrain glitches working in my favor. 10 out of 10 game. Would suffer, would continue to suffer Todd's lies. Space flight? Eh, it's okay. Not really that satisfying. Let me eat some food here to lower my, uh, whatchamacallit, burden. Can uck maple cola? That's disgusting.
oxygen levels to go back up. reef outcroppings are evidence of long vanished living oceans. Cool. Alien egg? Oh yeah, buddy, that's mine. Alright, I scanned him. I can kill him now. If you require help carrying any items, I will assist. You know what, let me go ahead and head back to the ship. At least, at the very least, unload. You're carrying too much and can't fast travel. Lovely. We should be free of there is room in my storage hold for... Shit, no. Inventory, not that. That is 100% that sound from Star Trek. That 100% from Star Trek. I 
don't know why that's in my bag. Uh, we just drop that. I got grenades. needs to be bigger. Too much of a Ken doll right there. Oh, buddy, those those mods are already in the works. I guarantee it. All right. Well, there's three maelstroms, so I can at least drop two of them. And there's only like six rescue axes inside what's his name's pack. I'm not perverted, you are. Pretty sure for Fallout 4 there was a new mo nude mod like Day 2, yeah. 100% those mods are already out there. 100%. You know what? I've already got a pirate charger spacesuit in, inside what's his name, so let me drop this one. Alright, just need to drop two more pounds. Let me drop the board games here. There. Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. 
Alright. Don't worry. This will all become second nature before too long. There has got to be a cargo hold here somewhere. Come on, you guys were talking about a cargo hold the whole game. Let me let me access it so I can dump my shit in. I'm still in the tutorial. I know I'm in the tutorial, but come on. I could access all the other shit. Yeah, the game's got cooking. Hell yes. Hey, don't do that. Yeah. Don't compare me to those people. Ooh, slippers. Captain's locker. It is foolish to carry so many items on your own. The robot really is my carry slip. Select missions in the bottom section. Okay, hold on. Mission. Mission. There we go. Press R to automatically plot a course to your next objective. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis.
Bloods and Dragon dildos. Just for the record. I guess I landed in the wrong spot. Whoops. This does not look like a city. Was stutter just in the video, or did you get that on my... I didn't see any stutter. It works on my machine. It sounds like a skill issue on your end, dude. There it is. New Atlantis. Your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. I would try to viewport. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. You were able to land it, so I'm sure whatever is broken can be fixed. Sure, how about it? Ooh, time to fuck with the ship. Ship builder. Okay, this is actually, uh, really detailed. Holy shit. I'm a little overwhelmed. Let me back out of this. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me.
Oh, oh, oh. I gotta get my ship from the robot. I forgot. Yeah, welcome to the party, Richter. Captain, Constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge. How can I be of assistance? Okay, let me take everything back from him. I actually like that spacesuit. Looks, <laughs> looks really chunky. So the ship has a cargo hold, but I can't access it. Maybe I can access it from here? You joke, but I'm serious. That is immersion breaking. Oh, there it is. Cargo hold. Resources. Store all resources. Notes. Ammo. Throwables. Apparel. Finally did it. Woohoo!
All right, now I can leave. Now I can leave and sell all my trash. Look how lightweight I am now. Anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of course, uh, if that's sure possible, <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to Mask ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment this far has been entirely unsafe. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Maroon Zealots breached the station's perimeter. And you failed to initiate the proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of there alive. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool. Is it true that the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? My June 11th party. My parents took me to But I don't know. Um, no, yes, no. And I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, Air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state-of-the-art. Ugh, Aquila City. Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. Little unfair, don't you think? Three Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted, no questions asked. Even helped with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Yeah, it's a bit of Lego. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. May I help you? <sighs> Guess you caught some of that, huh? Oh, the galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Maroon, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. Some of us are still dreaming. That's humans for you. We can ruin a glass of water. I hear that. Spacers, who are they? How to prove that? Not what. Who. How to describe House Varun. Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of... Seriously, no joke, this guy looks society. like a big baby. Faction cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Uh, real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just disappeared. 
They're out there somewhere. Or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners, for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Really? <laughs> you must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <sighs> They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though. They tend to shoot first and ask questions never. Well, now, <laughs> you don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. I'm right here with you, my friend. How can you not look up to the cosmos and just be overwhelmed by its beauty? So much possibility, so much hope, even despite recent events. Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes, can you believe that? <laughs> Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. You jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it, so long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet-side, though. Their trigger fingers get much itchier. Ricardo Bosch. I was the Ricardo. Lead researcher on the station that got attacked. Ricardo. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now. I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? Goodbye. She can't do this to me. Not now. I've never been in a battle before. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people yelling about serpents and stuff. No joke, this kid just looks like a short lesbian. Yeah, it was like, Snakes and serpents will eat you all! The stars will squeeze you! Or something like that. I think they need psychiatric help. Yeah, let me be a, uh, a hero for the little kid. Probably. I'm pretty brave. A kid tried to bully me once, and I punched him in the head. Don't take shit from anybody, my mother says. And I don't. Anyway, I'm fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. His parents are fucking dead. Do you see that scientist May out in you? front of the mast? Staring at trees? Sounds upset? Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? Hello. Talking about my gun? Oh shit! It is Laredo! They actually comment on the brand of gun that you have? Alright. All right, Todd. All right. A little impressed. I'm busy. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Hope you're not.
not agoraphobic. Gotta run, son. I'm late to a meeting. Word of advice. Steer clear of the well. Oh. Um, hello. Okay. I was about to say, is everybody black on this planet? <laughs> oh, it's all text. they would give like a little tourist video. Kind of in the middle of something here. Can't talk right now. Sorry. Sorry, can't talk. City is our strength, but I mean, if everybody's black, that's just that's the opposite of diversity. That's 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 uh, uniform. That's homogenous. My immersion! My immersion! Jemison Mercantile, The Viewport. Oh, that's a bar. All right, let me buy some shit. Barrett enjoys this establishment. He frequently buys chocolate here, though I have informed him repeatedly. It is likely a significant contributing factor to his being overweight. Selling art is a bit of an art itself, you know. Indeed, I am. I've been an art dealer for most of my life, plying my trade all across the settled systems. It's actually why I'm here in New Atlantis today. I'll be delivering a piece of art to a very particular client later. However, I don't yet have the art in my possession. Actually, would you like to pick up the artwork and bring it back to me? I'll reward you for your efforts. <laughs> You simply need to go pick up some artwork. The exchange has already been arranged and you won't have to show any credits. It's just a matter of picking something up and bringing it back to me. There's really no need to worry. It's all very simple. It's never very simple. I'm... Well, I'm not very familiar with the streets of New Atlantis. I'm not from here, you see. I'd rather just avoid any trouble and have someone more capable do the exchange for me. All right, fuck it. Excellent. You'll be picking up the art from Zoe Kaminsky at the Trade Authority. Tell her you're there for Samson Jabrell's <laughs> art. She'll understand. Return the artwork to me, and you will be compensated. It always, it, 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 that's always the case. If they're ever overselling how easy something it's going to be, it's going to be a fucking garbage fire. Well, of course they do. Why wouldn't they? 
I've heard tell that you can get some very impressive items at the Trade Authority. But for now, let's settle for the artwork that I've procured. <sighs> Other than being an art dealer, there's not much to say. I grew up in Neon, and I knew I had to get out of that place somehow. I did a few odd jobs, some um, deliveries, and it eventually led me onto this path I'm on now. I never thought I'd do what I do, but I suppose life can be surprising. In a sense, my trade doesn't necessarily need me to be tied down in one location. Because of that, I travel all over the settled systems. I'm here now for an opportunity, but before this, I was in Aquila. Before that, Neon, in my line of work. I can't afford to stay in one place for very long. Ben Kingsley. That's who he looks like. I was fucking figuring out, like, why does he remind me of someone? Ben Kingsley. Back to it, then. Hope you're finding everything you need. Hi there. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. <laughs> Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Oh, please, take a look. Have I mentioned how much I like this thing? Makes him look like the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. I love that. Or the, the Michelin Man. Take a look. <laughs> Land ho. <laughs> I love it. Fucking look at that shit. <laughs> I need one that says juicy across the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Hopefully in a week there'll be a mod for it. more of those shotgun shells. There we go. Five sixty-nine. Appreciate the business. Okay, let me put on like a slob. I love it. Now that I look good, let me go ahead and hit up the bar. You're not agoraphobic. Hey, if you're looking for a weapon specialist, I could really use the work to pay off some debts. The kind that need to be paid off quickly, or else I'm in big trouble. And if you don't mind, I'd kind of like to keep the details of that to myself. Unless you're agreeing to hire me, of course. Anyone can shoot at targets. But what I the fuck? That, you're not gonna find a better shot. <laughs> Black lady jump so, scare. <laughs> are we making a deal or what? I'm not asking for that much. Just my fair share. Twenty four thousand. You're asking me to work for less than the going rate? Why would I do that?
Yeah, I've heard of you. I do like working with the best. Well, I guess something's better than nothing. I'll cut my price, but I'm not going any lower. I understand. Guess I'm not the only one who should be looking for work. Swing by again when you can afford it. Hey there. You look like the planet hopping type. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? Plenty. I'm comfortable on a ship, especially in the gunner seat. I'm also a trained expert with shotguns. I have the certification to prove it. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I won't overcharge you. I'm grateful for the offer. I've been out of a job since I left the Freestar Rangers. Sorry, forgot I had you guys muted. 36,000? You're short on credits? This isn't getting us anywhere. There's nothing to talk about. I've already made myself clear. I hear you. Don't get ahead of yourself. I feel for you, but I can't work for that little. I have to make a living. Ah, I see. Well... Hey there, cutie. You picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making them strong today. You in uh, town for business? Cheers. Nothing like a cold one after a long trip through the space lanes, if you ask me. Well, it seems like we have that in common. Personally, I'm here looking for work. I just quit my job as a weapon tester for Mask. Oh, yeah. Plenty of us. There's a whole branch of Mask's scientific wing called DRIP. That's dedicated to developing Drip. weapons for the UC military. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm actually hoping for a crew gate. Lots of pilots stopped by the viewport on their way into town. I figure if I hung around long enough, I'd run into someone who was hiring. 
I'm billing myself as a weapons expert, sniper tech specifically. Everyone on this bar Most is a weapons like expert. Having someone on their crew who's good with firearms. <laughs> the settled systems are no picnic. Well, I'll be damned. What a coincidence. Working on a ship sounds perfect. I was hoping my next job would get me out of the city. What's your offer? I'm a reasonable guy, but that's just too low. <sighs> All right. I'll look elsewhere then. If you change your mind, you can find me here. I'm feeling bad letting these people down by being poor. Yes, what? I'm looking to join a crew. Any openings? She doesn't even have a name, just damage control specialist. Engineering is my speciality. I'm trained to optimize your repair systems to keep your ship up and running. Trust me, you'd be getting a bargain. Why is that? Not if I go broke. I don't think so. Ah, tch. I seem to attract the types with big talk and empty pockets. That's the best I can do. Take it or leave it. I see. Look me up when your luck turns around. Oh, I forgot I had two uh, skill points. Let's see. There's a shady one in the corner. <laughs> Not used to people coming up to me. The suit usually scares them off. <laughs> Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? I guess you could say I've always had it. Once you've been all over, like I have, you might find yourself in something like this too. He's not uh, I'll see you around. a companion, huh? Okay. Anything I can do for you? Ever been to Sidonia? My brother works there. 
Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis, so there's no shortage of people to meet. I love talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys. Not to mention, it's also nice and safe. Unlike my brother's job. Of course. He's a marine stationed in Sidonia. My whole family is worried about him. My dad worked his butt off so that we could all have safe jobs here in New Atlantis. But Chris ran off to Sidonia the first chance he got. He says he's okay, and that he loves his job and all that. But I don't think he understands how hard this is on our family. He ran away from Space Australia. Poor guy. Finally, someone understands. I guess I can only hope that Chris will come to his senses one day. But anyways, I apologize. I didn't mean to dump all of that onto you. I just had to get that all off my chest, I guess. You're trauma dumping all over me, girly. There's a huge tree in the Embassy District, across from the mass station. Trust me, it may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it at least once when they're in the city. It's so cool. Oh, maybe I just love trees. Have a good one. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. You know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. What is that accent? I was going to say Caribbean, but it's starting to sound like West African. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous. Galaxy-wide. That's either Ivory Coast or French Guiana. And I can't... I can't... English-speaking Ivory Coast or French Guiana. Well, at the moment, it's what's not in it that's an issue right now. I don't have everything for the recipe. I made a deal with Holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Okay, so it's definitely not Haitian. Not Trinidad or Tobago. Or no, maybe it is Trini. Hold on. I just, I, I need her to say the word mother. If I, if I hear her say mada, then it's, it's probably Trini or French. I, I'm so split. I want to say French Guiana, but. See, this only works if we both talk. Otherwise, I'm just giving a speech and I hate public speaking. I don't know about Dutch, uh, Dutch Guiana. It's, I don't think so. I, I'm thinking French Guiana. Yes. What with all these extra credits cluttering up the place, why didn't I think of that? Sorry, snark isn't helpful. This stuff was pricey to get a hold of the first time. Very clever of you. Your parents must be so proud. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. So 
her full name is Nissa Marcano. That doesn't help at all. Marcano. I mean, doing something about this won't exactly be on the straight and narrow, will it? I saw it. I saw it. I was walking right into her. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend is could it Barbados? Way to get her no, it's not Barbados. Out of the impound, and if hypothetically that were done in a less than 100% legal way, okay. well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You uh, with me on this? What? Come on, no! I'm already uncomfortable with this whole thing. Don't go making jokes like that. Seriously, can you help me with this or not? That's a that's a hell of a curve going from French Caribbean to Spanish Caribbean, but I don't know, it may be. God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure. There has to be a way to get what I need. Here. Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms. But because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down the at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access yeah. cards. If you have it's, one, it it's works. got the Spanish. How or why it, you would Spanish have Caribbean. a UC security access card is none of my business. The of course. cargo. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. If it was a French Caribbean holding, she would have said the cargo, but no, cargo. Front of the mouth. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. Totally fine. Okay, yeah. I'm obviously not expecting you, Orin. Yeah, this is hardly a life or death situation. Some lights breaking and entering at worst, right? You know, I had a guy in here last week ranting that General Shao ought to send the Marines down into the well. I'm usually all for letting folks speak their mind. Most times it can't be helped after a few drinks. But that was just too much. Anybody stuck living in the well, it almost certainly isn't by choice. And things down there aren't that bad. I hear there's some sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy torn down. When I first heard about it, I thought it was a bit extreme, but really, would you want to move into that place? Me neither. And it's not like they're ever coming back. House for room, I mean. Well, at least not make nice and be all diplomatic. We all know how that went. I hear there's some sort of... When I first heard about it, and it's not like they're ever coming back. You're in the right place. Lag moment. Lag moment. You can't subscribe to someone named Low Ping. Lag moment. It's 
stop by anytime you'd like to catch up. Oh, is she taking over the shift? I really love this place. Hope to see you again soon. Hard, well. How am I liking it so far? I mean, it's a uh, definitely a Bethesda game so far. Oh, he just dissolved. It seems like a small decision, but they all add up over time, and it's paralyzing. Buddy, it's coffee. Pick one, get out of the way, and let us get on with our lives. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sure. Howdy. Hey. Espresso! policy requires me to state that everything Terra Brew offers is my favorite. <laughs> Certainly. Please take your time. Oh, I made the right choice. One moment, gone the next. I tell you, you must cherish everything and everyone while they're here. You never know when you may lose them. Thank you. I appreciate that. You see, I lost something invaluable. Lost it in a bet, if you must know. It was one really? of my most prized items in my collection. Yeah, I thought he someone it was died. Gem, priceless, no doubt. And its beauty like was lost rock. Oh, life seems a little less bright without it. That scoundrel George St. George has it in his possession now. And knowing that fills me with such envy and anger. George St. George. 
Seriously, yes. It made it seem like someone died. Well, yes. A part of me died when I lost it. <laughs> well, it sounds like you lost it fair and square. That is something I simply cannot do. I must have it back in my possession at once. St. George, like myself, is a collector of trinkets and relics from Earth. I have in my possession a plate that I'm sure he won't be able to live without. Please, would you be my hero and go exchange the plate for the jewel? I'm sure it will work. Oh, God, no. I could never face him myself. I'd be sick just at the sight of him. St. George would never give the gem back if I went myself. He would gain a smug satisfaction from declining the offer. Oh, food's here. I gotta go get it. Be right back. Your blank stare is quite intimidating. Is something wrong? Not to be rude, but I'm not getting any younger.
I got Chinese food for brunch. Barbados Slim! Fantastic! Here's the plate. Come back to me when you have the gem. And please don't drop it. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Guillaume, by the way. Shrimp it's egg roll. To make your acquaintance. It's literally ah, deep fried shrimp in the shape of an egg roll. To speak. We should probably see a doctor. Ah, one second here. Not by profession. I work out of the Valberg building. Gambling is a vice I've been dulled since I was a young man. And I've amassed a great collection of trinkets and valuables from it. Alas, recently my luck has soured and my collection is dwindling by the day. But I can't stop, right? I can't just quit. Because what if my luck returns? A lesson I still have yet to learn, unfortunately. Thank you. I will try to take your advice to heart. Yes, I've been blessed to call New Atlantis home. When I was a younger man, I would travel the settled systems with no home to call my own. I was a nomad, if you will, but out of all the places I've been, no place quite spoke to me like New Atlantis. I collect all sorts, gems, novelties, old earth trinkets, Anything and everything that has some sort of value, monetary or otherwise. One of my favorite possessions is a fort that was used on Earth. How amazing is that? I'm sorry, a fort? You'd be amazed what people will wager Fucking in a aerial over here? I've won and lost some truly breathtaking things. My collection, as it stands, is quite valuable and substantial. It used to be more so, but my bad string of luck lately has affected it. Space aerial. I can assure you with near certainty he won't decline. As much as I hate to say it, St. George and I are cut from the same cloth. We both adore relics from Earth, no matter how large or monetarily valuable they are. They are a piece of human history, and that means a lot to us both. It pains me to part with the plate, but I happen to have a few others in my collection. If it means sacrificing one to get the gem back, I will. It does. It was the first item I ever collected. The star. Me first battle. dollar! I received that gem when I was a young, young man. To know that I foolishly wagered it. Threw it away. Ah, well, I won't make that mistake again. Ta ta! Am I? Hold on. Let's fix the focus here. Logitech hub here. It's not terribly out of focus, just a little bit. Well, while my Logitech G is updating, I'll go ahead and put some little crunchies in my hot and sour soup.
How's that? Better? Sure hope your day's going as well as mine is. Uh, fine, I guess. Do we know each other? Oh, all right. <laughs> I thought you were trying to flirt with me. <laughs> My day's going fine. It's hard to complain about anything when you have a terror brew in your hand. Catch you later, yeah? What, at Terror Brew? I wish. <laughs> nah, I, I live at Athena Tower. Just moved in, actually. My girlfriend and I got a place there a few weeks ago. I'm not sure how long we'll be there, though. We're saving up to get out of New Atlantis and uh, tour the settled systems. Yeah, sure. Her name's Donna. She works at the Nat Station near Mast. Oh, boy, is she a catch. She's passionate, beautiful, friendly. I really lucked out. We met a couple of years ago, and uh, we've been going steady since then. I'm actually thinking about asking her to marry me pretty soon. Uh, keep that between us, okay? I don't want her finding out before I pop the question. I sure hope your day's going as well as mine is. Delicious. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's no typing that word with a hard R in my in my chat. Excuse you. Ramanad. Hundred and five credit for some chunks. got contacts on him. Stock may not be so reliable, but I got ways to leave the place. You ask me? The real New Atlantis is down here. All that stuff tops it. It's kind of sick. Huh? You look around, and you tell me. You see is a big organization. A lot of planets, a lot of people, a whole lot to keep track of. Sometimes, don't do such a good job of that. Sometimes stuff falls through the cracks, winds up collecting dust in some 
warehouse. But that's all right, because I, and by extension you, get to benefit. I make great deals on stuff in bulk, you get some low prices. Everyone wins. A lot of people will tell you it's the worst. Want to step above being homeless. Then whine about how folks topside had it so much better. Me? I like it. More real down here. Topside, everyone's trying to show how civilized and rich they are. Oh, it's exhausting. But, hey, to each their own. I'm going to chow down on this suit while I play. Uh, let me cover my cam for a little bit. Be right back. Also, I'm going to mute my mic. I, don't, I doubt you guys are going to be into ASMR food mukbangs. Take your time. I got all day. something else I'll be here happy to make a deal absolutely You're back out there. Excuse you, that's a space double barrel shotgun. job from one of the mission boards in town not everyone's cut out for this line of work but you'll be fine and get paid as long as you follow our motto show no mercy leave no quarter we are 
Quite simply, an alliance of bounty hunters. Some of us share resources, some of us go it alone. But the organisation makes it easier for us to do our jobs and legitimises our work, so that rather than being paid vigilantes, we are part of the system. Various people approach the Alliance looking for those living on the land. We use our unique skills to find and deal with them. I've got one I don't mind sharing with you. There was one time I had to track down one of our own. Someone I once called friend. She'd gone rogue. We have lists of our members and their contact information kept secret for obvious reasons. This one. She had hacked into our systems and began to distribute lists to the highest bidders. You can imagine many people would kill to have this information. So I had to track her, stop her before she could make the first delivery. Let me tell you, it's not easy to hunt someone who knows all your tactics and techniques. But I found her. And when I did, I silenced her for good. I can, and I will. But know this, bounty hunting can be difficult work, so make sure you're prepared before you set out. If you think you have what it takes, then you can find Tracker's Alliance jobs listed on mission boards, with payment delivered upon completion. I'll point you in the right direction, but after that, you're on your own. Follow the motto, and you'll be fine. Show no mercy, leave no quarter. It's dangerous out there. Watch your back. Evening, sir. What? Uh Something I could never a dull day for security in the well. But I wouldn't give to be stationed in Embassy District. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days, spreading like a virus through the settled systems. They like to set up shop in old facilities, places abandoned in the colony war. That way, they can strike anywhere.
Is security on the station really just okay with me running around their security access areas? Is That's fucking weird. Karkarash, no ball, stick, stick. Always nice to see a fresh face around here. You stop in whenever you'd like. Do you know why this place has stood for so long? I make sure everyone's comfy. I tell it like it is, and I don't take any shit. yourself. Understand? No causing trouble in here. No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes. Nothing else. Mom, that's Kay, gets all the credit. Started making sure people felt welcome back when I was just a kid. She had one rule. No causing trouble. Everyone abided by it. Put their differences aside when they came through the door. After a few years of feeding so many mouths, we needed extra credits to stay afloat. Didn't mean for this to turn into a business, but here we are. If folks are willing to pay a little to have some place to feel safe and get a decent meal, well then, we'll sure take it. Alrighty, what can I get you?
Stay as long as you like. And don't be a stranger. is here in the city. We should... Pilot exams coming up. I've been studying so hard. I haven't seen the sunset in days. My last night was your last week. You think Deimos Star Yards would hire me? <laughs> what am I saying? Of course they would. I'm the best. You want food? Go to Case. You want an attitude? Try Jake's. You want to feel empty inside? <laughs> Get your bags and move in. Uh, seriously, though, this place is half doom and all gloom, which is precisely why I am leaving. Only because they're all a bunch of quitters whose only goal is to make it to the weekend. I got plans, I got ambition. All I need is a shot. I'm working on it. Taking the UC Vanguard exams. Saving up for my own ship. You know how it works. It's just taking a little longer than I expected. Damn, hotshot. What are you doing down here, then? This is the last place I'd be. Later. No lawyering, okay? I don't have the patience for it. Can't say I'll have what you need. But you're welcome to look. That's so. Think folks down here are too poor to afford electronics. Not the first time I heard that line. Yeah, I get that kind of attitude far too often. You find yourself with any more commentary, feel free to keep it to yourself. Uh, it's fine, just... Maybe give things an extra thought before you let them roll right out of your mouth. Happy to make a deal if I can. No question, business has been slow lately. Not too worried, though. Managed to make ends meet for a good long while. Don't expect that to change now. Stop by any time. It's a quaint shop, isn't it? I like it here. Don't mind me. Just a weary man, resting his feet. 
Maybe a little, but that's not such a bad thing, is it? Better than all the noise and attention topside, if you ask me. Oh, Henrik is an old friend of mine. I help out around here from time to time. But I don't just loiter around. I'm involved in my own business endeavor as well. Stay out of trouble. about Henry from time to time. Not very often these days. But that's Stocks are a bit low. So you might find yourself a Limited resources. We try not to turn anyone away just because they're like in credits. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. Funny story about that. You know, when people first arrived on Jemison, they dismantled the colony ship and used the parts to establish a place to live. Over time, they built out and up and up, and after long enough, they started to forget about the people and the things still down here. The walls and the ceiling have changed, but this place still uses equipment from that old ship. And it's here because not everyone in New Atlantis can afford Reliant Medical. Don't have much of a choice. Can't afford to pay staff, and while I've got a few volunteers from the community, I can only ask so much of them. We've scraped by for a good long while now, and we'll continue to do so. Don't you worry. We're no Reliant Medical down here, but if you've got credits, I might have something for you. Okay. What seems to be the problem? Not a thing wrong with you. You're not trying to pull my leg, are you? Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while. And Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once. And Garl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. Co-worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks are fine with ignoring what goes on down here. We're trying to isolate a power drain, which looks like it's the result of a large amount of power being rerouted through various subsystems. But it's kind of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. It's pretty simple, really, and relatively safe. Only a small chance of electrocution. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need is very technical. 
I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. If you got anything valuable in you, keep it close. <laughs> you never know what might happen down here. What do you want? I'm very busy, as you can tell. Are you kidding? Take a look around. You're in the most boring place in the galaxy. Only good thing down here is Kay's house. Best cooking in the settled systems. And let me tell you, I know my food. But I can't even go there anymore because Kay banned me for bad behavior. Me! Can you believe that? What a load of crap! Why do you want to know? You with security? <laughs> oh yeah? Maybe I'll hide my boot in your ass if you don't quit asking questions. That is, unless you're with security. In which case, I wasn't threatening you, that was just a joke. <laughs> no crime's been committed. I'm actually a very nice person. Yeah, well, newsflash, buddy. I don't like anything about you, either. In fact, I dislike you with such conviction that I'm inclined to fight you right now. What do you say we go ten rounds? Right here, right now. Yeah, I, uh... Well, luckily for you, I actually hurt my hand when I was punching some other assholes the lights out. Uh, Doc says it'll take a few weeks or months to heal. Yeah, yeah, we'll take a rain check. But once my hand... Pussy! Oh, thank God! I was sick of hearing your voice! They say never hire a man when a machine can do it for free. But down here, people can't afford the machine. There's a welcome to the House of Enlightenment. We started as an intellectual movement built around atheism. As our numbers increased, we began focusing on humanitarian efforts and showing what humanity can achieve when we work together. We don't exactly pass around an offering plate, if that's what you're asking. But we do run mostly on donations. And as you might have guessed from the surroundings, we try and stretch those donations as far as we can. Nobody likes working for someone who micromanages them. You may get results in the short term, but in the long run, it comes at a cost. But it sounds like you're upfront about it, so they know what they're in for. If you want to build a better work environment, we can offer you some counseling. We've analyzed a lot of the most successful employers looking for what works and what doesn't. But I have to warn you, your crew may be happier, but you have to accept they will perform differently. I won't tell you how to run your business, but if you change your mind, I'm here. We run a number of social programs, from financial aid to food bank. Perfect. It just so happens there's a task I need help with right now. 
Indeed. Sometimes it just works out that way. People with mutual interests seek each other out, and by working together, we achieve something greater than ourselves. As for the job, I need you to pick up a man named Tahir over at the Med Bay. He's recovering from some injuries and needs assistance getting back to his apartment. I'd like you to pick him up, grab a bite to eat, and take him home. In one of the poorer districts, near where the children play soccer. Take him that far, and he should be fine. Tahir is prideful, and I don't want him to feel like you held his hand. You just nudged him in the right direction. That's a touchy subject. Tahir's had several run-ins with UC security, including tagging, theft, and brawls. He also blames the UC for the conditions in the well, not to mention his own personal difficulties. And since he won't accept help from the authorities, the house is stepping in to provide some aid. I'm afraid not. Even after you're healed, it takes time to recover from something like this. Most people have family and friends to lean on, but Tahir has no one. On top of that, he's a young and prideful man, so... You gotta say, this guy's facial animations have been like the best in the game so far. Great. You'll find him over at the med bay. He's probably hungry, so after you pick him up, escort him over to Kay's. She should have a meal ready for him to take home. And thanks. Literally, the only thing that's pulling me out is the little goofy mustache. Other than that, I do our looks like some guy. Forms. Crates, shelves, drawers. Not much. Alright, Molly. Coming or not? This is the last time I'm gonna offer. I don't need your help. I can walk home on my own. Suit yourself. But if you get lost or end up in a cell, don't blame me. I tried to help. Everyone in spacers? Scumbags and scavengers. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know where the soccer nets are? My apartment's in the same area. I got a bad case of the brain fog. And I, I can't seem to remember which way to go. You see security offered, but I refuse. Their help is the reason I'm hurt in the first place. I was arrested a while back for tagging. One of the officers roughed me up pretty bad, and I haven't been the same since. Really? Is this some sort of scam? I'll have you know, I got no creds. Not yet. I'm actually starving, but I, I think I have some canned goods at home. I've got some chronic health problems. Aches, pains, you name it, I got it. Most days I can deal with it, but sometimes my body doesn't respond at all, and I end up in the med bay. They put me on some pretty hard meds. The doc said to give it a few hours, but I'd rather not stick around this dump any longer than I have to. Well, like I said, I have no creds to squeeze. Ah, oh, wait. You're joking. Ha. Huh. Good one. All right. You win. Seeing as I got no one else, might as well roll the dice with a stranger. So, go on, lead the way. Folks gotta look out for one another. That's why I started serving food all those years ago. Sure I can. Just tell me who it's for, and we can get it sorted. I've got it right here. Is this for you to hear? Well, I don't have any credits, so... Well, then you're gonna have to pay for it. Always nice. You again? That's what I thought. Well, Thanks, Kay. You're welcome, kid. It's just good to see you alive and well. You know, there was a time 
when you'd be in here every night. Things change, Kay. I know. Believe me, I know. And I get it's hard to come out here, but just... Oh, don't be a stranger, okay? I'm sorry, I... I I'll try not to. Good. I'm glad we got that sorted. Here's the soup. Be careful, it's a little hot. test pilot program just the other day. I'm not gonna end up like these lifers and well rats. No way. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Ah, here we are. <laughs> I wouldn't know. It's not like anyone can afford to eat fancy down here. But, thanks for the help. I, I probably would have found it on my own, but it would have been a chore. Oh, right, the, the soup from Kay's. Man, it's been a long time since I had a warm meal. You might say that. Before I got hurt, I used to stop by Kay's every night for a soup and a sandwich. It didn't matter how bad my day was, or how empty my pockets were. As long as I had my food and my beer, I'd be good. All that weight would just wash away. And to be honest, I haven't felt that feeling in ages. Until now. So, you doing this for me, it means a lot. Thanks. Likewise, I don't have a lot of connections around here. Not anymore, anyway. I appreciate meeting someone I can call a friend. Thanks.
junction box. This section isn't used very much these days, so it may be a little harder to see. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end, right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to sell.
Looks like Toph actually got tofu instead. Mm, all right, I'm done with my Chinese food. I'm going to open the camera here back in one second. So this guy tried to just scam a black market robot dealer and thought he got away with it and the black market robot guy just remote activated the robot to kill him. That's rough. That's rough, buddy. Thing about the trade business? Who you know matters as much as anything else. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, the fuck you is are wrong here with under teeth. false pretense, say, sent by one Nist Sang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it be? Perhaps, but I'm quite confident in my business, and I refuse to be intimidated. Please, let me know if I can assist you further. Ah, uh, yes, I've been expecting you. Here's your package. And don't worry, I've already corrected the ownership record for you. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. Thanks for your business. We've been in New Atlantis for a very long time, before most things topside were built. With lots of infrastructure already in place, ample storage, and discreet access to the spaceport, it makes sense to stay. It's had the unintentional, but not unwelcome, side effect of weeding out people who can be... timid about doing business. I thought the name made it rather obvious. We are the authority on trade in the settled systems. Whether it's bulk cargo, specialty items, or individual requests, we make sure things get where they need to go. We have shipping lanes across the settled systems and deal with nearly every major corporation and faction there is. That depends. If you have a ship and are willing to haul cargo, then we've got some work. Otherwise, you're going to have to be more specific. We frequently post cargo running jobs up on the mission boards around town. Check them out. 
I've heard our jobs pay well, and on the off chance that's not what you're looking for, well, I can't really help you then. Of course, of course. Be my guest. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. Why don't you meet me at the monitoring station, near where we met? Did I say thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Maybe in the short term, but overall it paid off. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. 
I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The Trade Authority. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. So thanks to you, we've got evidence that the Trade Authority is behind the power drain being reported down here. I don't know if you ever dealt with the Trade Authority, but Zoe is intimidating. I have to go in there, but I really, really don't want to. You think you'd be willing to... I don't know. I feel like I'm the one who's going to wind up in trouble. Zoe's got a way of twisting things. Thanks. That means a lot. I can do the talking, I think. Just be ready for, well, anything. And she's gonna take her sweet time getting there, isn't she? That's Cam Clark. That's Liquid Snake.
okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? Believe me, I really, really hope I am. But I'll tell you, people in my division tell stories about Zoe. She's got a lot of influence. That's dramatic, but reassuring, I guess. for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of this. No, you're not weaseling out of this. We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to rack electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and I've been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... Wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mask's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Okay, well, this is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. I can sort out the details with Zoe. So why don't you go investigate the next junction box? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, there's something here. That's why she came over here.
how in the hell do I get there? find anything at end rates. Where's the other junction box? He said it was by the electronics store, didn't he? the conclusion that it must be somewhere on the 
surgically agreed, so it's not technically my problem at this point, but I want to see what this trail eats. If you head topside, I'll pull the diagrams we'll need and contact you. Nice talking to you. Dude's vibing. Posture has been checked. Streamed Armored Core 6. Uh, I don't play Armored Core. I'm more of a front mission type of guy. going on five hours guys i think i'm gonna call it quits for today uh, uh, we'll play more of todd's lies tomorrow uh, until then i'll see y'all around later shadow of death i take a look in my life and realize there's nothing left because i've been blasting and laughing but so so long i eat my mama things out my mind is gone and i ain't never frost a man who didn't deserve it me be treated like a punk you know that's unheard of you better watch how you're talking and where you're walking or you and your homies might be lying and chalking i really hate to trip but i gotta load as a crook, I see myself in a pistol smoke. Oh, I'm the kind of G the little homies want to be. Like on my knees in the night, saying prayers in the street light. Been spending most of their lives living in the gangster's paradise. Been spending most of their lives living in the gangster's paradise. Look at the situation they got me facing. I can't live a normal life, I was raised by the streets, so I gotta be down with the hood team. 
Too much television watching got me chasing dreams. I'm an educated fool with money on my mind. I got my pen in my hand and a gleam in my eye. I'm a low-tell gangster, set tripping banger. And my homies are down, so don't arouse my anger. Death ain't nothing but a heartbeat away. I'm living life to a die. What can I say? I'm 23 now, but will I live to see 24? The way things are going, I don't know. Been spending most of their lives sitting in the gangsters' paradise. Been spending most of their lives sitting in the gangsters' paradise. Keep spending most of our lives living in the gangsters' paradise. Keep spending most of their lives living in the gangsters' paradise. Tell me why are we so blind to see that the ones we pray are you and me? Power and money, money and the power, minute after minute, hour after hour. Everybody's running that hopper when they're looking. What's going on in the kitchen? That pot of dough is cooking. They say I've got to learn, but nobody's here to teach me. They can't understand it. How can they reach me? I guess they can, and I guess they won't. I guess they promise how I know my life is out of love. Been spending most of their lives living in the gangster's paradise. Been spending most of their lives living in the gangster's paradise. Keep spending most of our lives living in the gangster's paradise. Keep spending most of our lives living in the gangster's paradise. Good evening. Welcome tonight to hear my new song. Billy Jean. She was more like a beauty cream from a movie scene. I said, don't mind, but what do you mean? I am the one who danced on the floor in a row. She said, I am the one who will dance on the floor in the round. Told me her name was Billie Jean, as car scene. Then every hedron would have to drink me into one who will dance on the floor in the round. People always told me, be careful what you do. Don't go around breaking young girls' hearts. And mama always told me, be careful who you love. Be careful what you do, cause the lie becomes true. Billie Jean is not my 